Welcome back programmers. Today I want to talk about code sharing. Yes, as a pure basic programmer, it is a good practice to share your code. So in this video, I will just tell you about where to share your code and how to share your code. So first, the where. Well, it's pretty easy. There are many websites where you can share your code. I'm thinking about three right now. The Pure Basic Forum, okay. Uh, a lot of people share Pure Basic code there. It's very interesting. You can share it on a website like github.com, a very popular website to share code. And also a website more generic like codeproject.com. I put the links in the description down below. That's for the where. But the how, how do you share your code? Well, if it's a whole program, it's pretty easy. You take your files, you upload them on the website, done. But I'm talking about sharing code, just a piece of code, okay? You, let's say you have developed a new custom drone gadget, uh, a rotating gauge or whatever, and you want to share this, this piece of code so other people can reuse it just as is. And that's where the modules come into place. Yes, uh, we're going to talk about modules and we're going to see right now how we use them. Let's jump into the code. OK, so to demonstrate how to work with modules, I've created this small program. You see there is a custom gadget, a little LED gauge. Let's have a look. Okay, so here my program, very simple. I have this custom gadget here. It's an LED, it's off. I can turn it on, okay? And depending on the value from zero to 100, it, it turns from red to green, okay? To give you a status on any linear value. Okay, so I want to reuse the gauge gadget. So all the code is here, okay? Enable explicit, I include a file, utils.pbi, it's just for the background color, nothing too fancy. Uh, I have my procedures, draw LED, okay, LED gadget, set on, is on, level, set level, etc. And I have my main code, my main procedure, and, and my main um, call here at the end. Okay, so first I want to separate the code from the gadget and the code from uh, the main code, the, the code that is using the gadget. So I'm going to create a new file and I'm just going to copy paste here. Um, I'm not going to take here, just going to let this here and copy paste it here. Here I want to say also the enable explicit. And of course, this, this won't work if you don't include the file. So I need to include file led led.pbi. Yes, I have saved, saved already my program in a led.pbi file. So here I'm going to save it. And this guy too, I'm going to call it here. Okay. Yes, I want to overwrite. Okay, so I have my file main file that is using my gadget. Let's have a look. It works fine. Okay, but let's say I want to declare in my main something like that. Just for the example, I want to declare another set background color procedure. That is actually doing absolutely nothing. This will fail because you're just including the code from led.pbi, but you're including all the procedures and the variables as global ones, global ones. So you don't want to do that. What you want to do is create a module. So you go back in this file and how do you create a module? Well, guess uh, you type module, okay? And you give it a name. Let's call it LED. And at the end, you terminate with an end module. Pretty easy. Indentation. Okay. Done. I have my module. Yes. 
but if I run this doesn't work LED needs a declare module section yes when you are creating a module when you're working with modules you need to implement them like this but you also need to declare them why you must see a module as a black box the calling code the code that is going to use the module cannot see what's inside the module so it doesn't have access to the, the variables inside the modules the procedures inside the modules nothing and same thing inside the modules you don't have access to the outer world you don't have access to global variables that are declared outside and uh, procedures and things like that so it's really two separate worlds and the only point of contact from a uh, between your calling code and your module is what we call the interface it's a public interface so you need to put this public interface within a declare module section so i've copied it here okay just like this this declare module led so you need to repeat repeat the same name and you are declaring all variables and procedures that you want to expose to the outside world so here i'm only exposing procedures constructing you know building the gadget then set on is on set level level set background color and background color and here you have your module declare module your public interface and module which is the implementation of this public interface and within the module you can have a lot of variables here you could even have a the global variable being in the interface we'll do that later and that's it that's my module okay i can save it and now i can use it in my main file if i run like this it doesn't work because it doesn't know led gadget but wait i have the led gadget inside my module yes but now to use the module you need to tell pure basic you need to tell in your main file that you're using this module it's not enough to include it in the file but you need to tell the program how to use the module and you have two ways of doing so the first one is for me the best one you have to use the name of the module and double columns before every call to a procedure or a variable of the module before any call to a public to the public interface of your module so here i need to add led colon colon just like this to any call to my module so here level whereas set on is on set level and i think that's it and now i'm using my module correctly let's try boom that works this works fine i can use my gadget as a module i have split my code and it's clean and now if i want to share my module i just have to share the code of the led.pbi file and that's my module here i'm including also util.pbi so i need to give both or just to include whatever is in there but back to the main i said there are two ways of using a module either you put the name and the columns okay but you have another way let me control z here okay the other way i don't like it at all but it say use module use module led okay if you do that anywhere there is the procedure or variable that is in the module pure basic will know that it's it will look into this module to see if there is this uh, procedure or a variable if i run this huh this doesn't work why it's because i still have my set background color here and because i'm using my module it's just like as if i was including the code in a global way and that won't work again with this 
there will be a conflict between the meta method uh, the procedure names so let's change the procedure name and here back to a working program again so when you're done using the module between so you can put something like unuse module and the name of the module that will revert it back to normal so after this line if i want to use my module i still need to go back and say led colon colon so okay that's a trick if you want to use a module but honestly i i i advised against uh, doing so it's not a good practice i think the best is as i said to use this and the simple reason is that, is that um, when you do this way, okay, with the LED colon colon, first you can still go back to using this name and check this works, but it's clear in your code here. I know that I'm using the LED gadget procedure of the LED module. It's written, it's right written in the code right here, so it's very readable and you know exactly the intent of the programmer, you know what's doing. Here it is using the level um, procedure of your LED module. And last thing I wanted to, not last thing, but uh, yes, I told you earlier that maybe we can put, let's say, uh, let's, let's put the global, okay? We can put a global variable here within, no, within the module and same at the procedure you can have access to this instead of calling the is on we can just call the global variable on and this will work the same see this works off on that works fine so yeah you can use in your module global variables or module variables and procedures but I prefer using only procedures. But that's a personal taste, okay? Okay, so you're ready to share your code. But uh, when you're sharing code with the community, what's good to give as well is not only your code, but some samples, right? Some example on how to use it. And how can you do that? Uh, just by giving one file there's a little trick let's uh, just for the example here I'm gonna copy paste the main code back to my module okay if you do just this well this won't work because if I want to run my main PB this will fail the main is already defined what you have to do here is a special trick using compiler directives and I will do a future video on, on those but the compiler directive you can use the compiler if okay, compiler if and you're using the constant pb uh, compiler is main file you can use this And at the end, you say compiler and if, just like an if, but it's a compiler if. Okay. And you are surrounding your main code, your example, by this compiler if. So what this does is if you're running, if you're compiling this file, you're running it just to check. I'm running the LED file. It works. It will run the main code that is in this file because we are in the main file but if you're including this file in another one just like this okay it will not compile what's inside the compiler is main file okay it will not compile so it will it will work because it will use this main this works okay so when you're sharing a module, and actually that's a trick that I've seen on the Pure Basic forum um, recently, you just surround your code with this compiler if directive, and that's where you get your 
code sample. And here, if I want to share my LED gadget, I just have to share this code. You download it, you run it. Okay, it works. How do I do that? Okay, there's a switch. Okay, you see how this works, you see the result. And then you can start without touching the LED file at all. You can start using it by including it in your programs and using the gadget, using whatever code has been shared. And voila. Okay, so now you know everything you need to know about modules and you can start sharing your own code. I've been busy lately doing other projects, well, pure basic created projects. Um, I'm kind of finishing the snake program to prepare some new videos, but also I have created the pureprogramming.com website. So pure-programming.com. It's gonna be a blog mainly where I'm gonna write some articles about pure basic programming. I have created the Facebook page uh, where I'll give some news about the channel and I've created the Instagram account. Mm, not sure that I'm gonna use this one a lot, but I'm basically spreading on the social media. So check them out. Uh, also, you still you know, can buy you a nice t-shirt, just code it and, um, and that's it. Uh, well, subscribe, like, you know, the, the usual stuff. Thank you all for watching. I will see you soon.